Hey guys, Aaron here again for the fourth installment of Tool of the Week. This week's tool is something I haven't even really used yet, but I saw it uh, come up on ads on Facebook and then I found a period when it actually could have been useful. So I went ahead and ordered it on Amazon. It's only like 10 bucks. So whenever I come across a tool like that, I just go ahead and buy it right away because I know that if I have a tool when I need a tool, it is worth lots of money to me. And it is a terminal removal kit. As you can see, I haven't even taken it out of the package yet. Uh, it just came from Amazon, 10 bucks. In my video about installing the fourth stalk, I'll put a link to it right here. You can see that we did some work with some of these terminals. When I bought the stock, it came with some wiring that a guy removed from a stock connector on an old boxer that he had in the backyard. And what he did was disconnect the pins straight from a connector similar to this one. And as you saw, I used the wires from this connector in that video to extend the length. And if I had this tool, I could have removed them instead of just cutting them off. So today I'm gonna to try to learn how to use this thing and show you guys at the same time on how to remove pins from a connector like this if you want to reuse them. All right, I just went inside into the AC to sit down to figure this out and I was able to remove the first pin. So I'm gonna show you a little bit about this first pin and then what I did to remove it. Get a nice close view on the sides right here. You can see the little tongs or spikes that are coming out that hook into the connector to prevent you from pulling it back out once inserted. This connector is clear, so it actually really helps. You can see those tongs in place right there doing their job holding this in. So if I try to pull on one of these wires, that tong on the bottom will not let it come out. So what I found ideally is a tool like this would actually slide down and press both of these tongs in at the same time and allow them to release. However, anytime I try to use this on the pins in this particular connector, there's not enough room on the sides for me to get them both on the outside. So it always ends up that one goes inside and one goes on the outside, which does not work. So what I had to do was just find two of these really skinny ones and wedge it down the outside. So with this skinny one wedged down the outside, you can see that it will go all the way down and press in that one. But of course, it's not enough to release it because the other side is holding it. So on the second ring, I found another tiny one. And this is not easy at all. It will take me many attempts to get it down the side. And I can't even get the other one down the side at the same time. So I'm just going to put this one down the other side, push it all the way down so that it should release that. Pull on it a little bit and then go back to the outside, all the way down, push, and just keep going back and forth. There you go. And finally, you can get this thing to release. So apparently there are a ton of different terminal types and pin types because with that pack you get so many of them. But I just wanted to show you how you can reuse these by just making sure your tab is lined up on the right side and press it back into the connector. And you'll hear a little snap and it will not come out. So the $10 kit here that I will link below in the description from Amazon comes with these three bundles of terminal disconnectors, I guess. So hopefully whatever connector you come across, this will be able to remove them for you. It just takes a little time and patience, but uh, it's better than cutting and splicing wires when you don't need to. Hopefully you guys found this helpful. If you did, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and watch the rest of the Tools of the Week for other tools that you might not know that you need.